There are certain things that are reserved for a spouse that the world should not be taking part of, and seeing and knowing and seeing and talking about and discussing. And we need to realize this. One controversy subject is head coverings. You know, Paul talks about head coverings, and people look at it as like it's Torah. Paul was a Torah scholar, and there are many things in the Torah that point to certain things. But there's no Torah command that a woman should or shouldn't wear a head covering. There's things that point to it, but there's no command. However, the scriptures command us to be modest and holy and tell us not to reveal our sexiness to anyone but our spouse. And the sexiest part of a woman's body is a hair. And a woman should cover her sexiness for her husband. How so? I don't care how tight a woman's clothes are. I don't care how high your heels are. If a woman's bald, a man's not turning his head twice. That's why she takes so much pride in her hair. The hair is the woman's beauty. Cover it for your husbands. Let your husband take joy in that beauty. I know a woman will say, well, my husband wants me to dress this way or act this way. Well, that's another communication issue. You know, if your husband wants you to walk around showing your body and your cleavage or something else. That's a communication issue you need to discuss with him and Yahweh. But you understand, we gotta, we gotta do the things the scriptures say. Not because it's a legalistic thing and I gotta cover my hair. No, it's not about that. Because you could easily have somebody defend, well, that's not Torah. Well, what about a modesty issue? You know, you look at some of my videos on my website about head coverings and what women, when they covered their heads, how not only were they treated different, how their relationships changed, and how people treated them different, but how their spiritual life changed. Amazing. Amazing true information that's found right there in the scriptures. When you look at those different things. See for yourself. But you understand patience. My wife, when I met her, she very rarely covered her head. Does she cover her head 100% of the time now? No. But is she getting more and more? Yes. I'm letting her in her own time see what Yahweh showed me. Patience. Patience. That's it. We see these different things there, and we see, you know, if you don't want to cover your head, at least cover your beauty and keep your hair pinned up. You know what happens? Hollywood knows it. What does Hollywood do when they see somebody, when somebody wants to get romantic, they let the hair down, they let the hair all out? Hollywood knows what attracts a man. When a woman's hair is up, she's business, she's all business, it's something different. When the hair's down, it's different. It's like the evening and the daytime, the moon and the sun. There's a significance with that, not only with our diet. By the way, I have a book called The Daylight Diet, the times we eat our food and the digestion, the times we digest our food. Big difference. But also romantically. You can't act the same way in the same situation in the day and the night and expect the same result. Something happens when the moon comes out versus when the sun is out. We have to understand that soon the moon and the sun are our timepieces. And Yahweh's holy times are our timepieces. And it all works together for a reason. You know, eating food when the moon is out does not digest the same way when the sun is out. When the moon is out, it's more cleansing. That's when the body's naturally, the waters of the body are, are cleansing. You know, if Yahweh wanted us to eat at nighttime, he would have made fruits and vegetables glow in the dark. <laughs> we should be eating our heaviest meals during the daytime hours. Now, is there a command in the scriptures that say that? No, but is there things that point to that? Absolutely. Does the body confirm that? Absolutely. The digestive organs of the body work more efficiently when we're doing it the way he's called us to. So there's a lot of different things here about diet and health that all go and reach our stress levels and our relationship levels. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world Messiah people seek the truth